Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Tuesday. We got 14 matchups on this NHL slate today. Be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my links in the description below. And if you guys like betting on NHL player props, you already know, go ahead and sign up with Parlay Play. Get free entries when you guys sign up. So go ahead and hop in there, get some nice wins. And yeah, we'll hop in it here. Very busy slate today. 14 matchups. Starting with the Carolina Hurricanes versus the New York Rangers. Rangers opening up as home favorites at minus 115. Carolina minus 105 with the over-under at 5.5. The last three head-to-head -head Carolina 2-1-0. The overs hit in two out of the last three matchups. Um, both teams have some players questionable. Carolina on a four game winning streak. They did beat the Rangers four to two in their last meeting. Rangers four and one in their last five. Coming off that Boston loss. Um, Carolina five and one against the Rangers, where they've been really good. Rangers four and one at home. Pretty even matchup. I mean, two elite teams here. You could really go either way. I like that you can get Carolina plus one and a half. Both teams playing great. I'm going to take the Hurricanes plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we have the Columbus Blue Jackets versus the Tampa Bay Lightning. Tampa Bay opening up as home favorites at minus 360. Columbus plus 300 with the over-under at six and a half. The last three head-to-head, -head, Tampa 3-0. and oh. The overs hit in two of the last three matchups. Columbus has multiple guys questionable. Tampa has two guys questionable as well. Um, Columbus one and four in their last five. Tampa on a three game winning streak. Coming off a nice Florida win where they put up eight goals. Columbus one and five against Tampa. One and four on the road against Tampa. Um, yeah, I like Tampa at home. Yeah, I mean, look, we're on the last week, week and a half before the playoffs. Um, you hope teams aren't resting players and, and whatnot, so you can't really predict that until you check the injury report before the matchups. Assuming a lot of these guys are playing for most of these big you know teams and big favorites. Rolling with the Lightning at home here. Next matchup with the Detroit Red Wings versus the Toronto Maple Leafs. Toronto opening up as home favorites at minus 450. Detroit plus 350 with the over-under at 7. The last 10 head-to-head -head, Toronto 8-0-2. Oh, the overs hit in 7 out of the last 10 matchups. Detroit uh, coming off a New Jersey win. They are 4-6 and six in their last 10. Toronto 7-3 and three in their last 10 coming off that Washington win. Detroit 1-6 on the road against Toronto. On a six game losing streak against Toronto here. Toronto nine and one at home where they looked really good. Yeah, I'm rolling with Toronto at home. Next matchup, we have the Edmonton Oilers versus the Pittsburgh Penguins. Pittsburgh opening up as home favorites at minus 150. Edmonton plus 130 with the over under at six and a half. The last 10 head-to-head -head pit, 7-1-2. and two. The overs hit in four out of the last 10 matchups. Edmonton, 4-1 and one in their last five. Uh, pit coming off that bad Philly loss. They're 4-6 and six in their last 10. Um, yeah, I like Edmonton, plus 1.5 on the road. Two evenly matched teams here. I'm going to take the Oilers on the puck line. Next matchup, we have the Florida Panthers versus the Boston Bruins. Florida opening up as road favorites at minus 125. Boston plus 105 with the over-under at 6.5. The last three head-to-head, -head, Boston 2-1-0. The overs hit in zero of the last three matchups. Um, yeah, no Lomberg for Florida. They have another guy questionable as well. Florida 9-1 in their last 10. Uh, they're playing very great hockey here. Boston on a two-game winning streak. They are 4-1 in their last five. 
Florida, 4 and 14 on the road against the Bruins. Um, Bruins, 8 and 3 at home, where they play very well. I like the Bruins, plus 1.5 on the road. Florida, you know, missing a player, got another guy questionable. We'll see how much that affects them here, but um, I'm going to take the Bruins, plus 1.5 at home. Next matchup, we have the New York Islanders versus the Washington Capitals. Washington opening up as home favorites at minus 185. The Islanders plus 165 with the over-under at 6. The last three head-to-head, the Washington 3-0. The overs hit in one out of the last three matchups. Both teams have a player questionable. Islanders on a five-game losing streak. Um, Washington coming off that Toronto loss. Um, Islanders 0-5 on the road against Washington on a five game losing streak against Washington yeah I like the Capitals at home they've been pretty dominant against the Islanders Islanders on a bad losing streak I'm taking the Capitals at home next matchup we have the New Jersey Devils versus the Ottawa Senators Ottawa opening up as a home favorite at minus 135 New Jersey plus 115 with the over-under at 6.5. The last three head-to-head, Ottawa 2-0-1. The overs hit in one out of the last three matchups. Um, Both teams have some players questionable. New Jersey on a three-game losing streak. Ottawa on a three-game winning streak. Um, New Jersey 3-11 on the road. Yeah, Ottawa has a little bit of momentum, a little three-game winning streak. Um, Yeah, I'm going to take Ottawa at home here. Next matchup, we have the Arizona Coyotes versus the Minnesota Wild. The Wild opening up as a home favorite at minus 550. Arizona plus 425 with the over-under at 6.5. The last 10 head-to-head, Minnesota 9-1-0. The overs hit in six out of the last 10 matchups. Arizona has multiple players questionable. Minnesota has some guys questionable as well. Yeah, Arizona on a 10 game losing streak. Minnesota on a five game winning streak. Um, Arizona 0-8 against Minnesota. They just haven't been able to beat the Wild. The Wild 5-0 at home. Yeah, we're rolling with the Wild at home. Next matchup, we have the Calgary Flames versus the Nashville Predators. Calgary opening up as a road favorite at minus 135. Nashville plus 115 with the over-under at 6. The last three head-to-head Nashville is 3-0. The overs hit in one out of the last three matchups. Calgary on a two-game winning streak. They did lose to Nashville 3-2 a couple games ago. Uh, Nashville on a two-game losing streak. Calgary 6-1 and one on the road where they've been really good. Nashville 10-5 and five at home. They do play well at home. Yeah, they've been the better head-to-head team here. I think there's good value with the Predators. I'm going to take Nashville plus one and a half at home. Next matchup, we have the Vegas Golden Knights versus the Dallas Stars. Dallas opening up as home favorites at minus 115. Vegas minus 105 with the over-under at 5.5. The last three head-to-head Vegas, 2-0-1. The over's hit in one out of the last two meetings. Um, Vegas, 5-5 five and five in their last 10. Dallas, 1-3 and three in their last four. Um, Vegas, 4-9 and nine on the road. Really not in love with this matchup here, to be honest. Um, Not much value on either side. Could really go either way. I'm going to take Vegas plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we have the St. Louis Blues versus the Colorado Avalanche. Colorado opening up as a home favorite at minus 165. St. Louis plus 145 with the over-under at six. The last 10 head-to-head, Colorado 7-3-0. The overs hit in seven out of the last nine matchups. St. Louis on a two-game losing streak. I'm sorry, St. Louis does have two players questionable. They're on a three-game winning streak, nine and one in their last ten. 
Colorado on a four game losing streak. They've been struggling. St. Louis 7 and 0 on the road, playing very good hockey. Um yeah, I think there's good value with the Blues. They're on a winning streak. They've been really good this last month. Colorado on a four game little losing streak here. I'm going to take the Blues plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we have the Seattle Kraken versus the Vancouver Canucks. Vancouver opening up as a home favorite at minus 230. Seattle plus 190 with the over-under at six. Uh, these teams have played three times. Vancouver winning all three of those matchups. Um, Seattle on a two-game losing streak. Vancouver on a three-game winning streak. So both teams struggling a little bit here. I do like Vancouver at home. You know, they've won the last three head-to-head -head meetings this season. I'm going to take the Canucks at home. And then the last matchup, we have the Anaheim Ducks versus the San Jose Sharks. The Sharks opening up as home favorites at minus 135. Anaheim plus 115 with the over-under at six. The last three head-to-head, -head, Anaheim 2-1-0. and The overs hit in one out of the last three matchups. Both teams have players questionable. Anaheim on a three-game losing streak. They're 2-8 and eight in their last 10. San Jose on a two-game winning streak. 3-1 and one in their last four. Anaheim 2-10 and 10 on the road where they have struggled. Yeah, hard to trust Anaheim. They just have not looked good. Um... I'm going to take the Sharks at home. And that's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Tuesday. Hope you guys all cash out, and I'll see you guys Wednesday. Have a good one.